Hello and welcome for Impact, dear friends. It's me, Odo. We are back in our campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Moon. This last time we killed this stupid monster. Um, uh, this demonic. Um, Kind of demonic gargoyle, ghoul gargoyle, or something like that. Terrible, terrible things. Hello, can we just open this guy? Nope, okay, probably not. Okay, let's look at the map. <clears throat> mm. Down there, there is a cave. Ah, it's on the other side, on the downside. It's not where we ran through, but like here how do we get there we have to go from here in this direction it's on the outside of the mountain interesting so wait Aren't there any entrances here? <sighs> we oversee something. Is there a possibility that we can go here in this direction? I mean, we don't see this point here. Probably we <clears throat> didn't see something. On the other hand, no. Let's go down. Let's move here because um, if we go back down, up there, we need a guy who can um, who can pick. So we have to fetch Camellia. Yeah, last time we also got our second mythic rank. Um, this was a bit tough for us to decide what we'll do. Uh, for the others, we did the. For most of the others, um, we couldn't do it for Lan and Sila because we have them too long. Um, but most of the others, we took the um, what is called the recommendations from the game. Mm. 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 I think it's interesting that no one of the recommendations has something like alchemy or or writing scrolls or something. Normally it should do that somehow because there is this nice um, mechanic that you could make your own potions in time. Ooh, these two are already here. They were faster than the rest of us. No, oh, Rachel looks at Sofiel with contempt. Despite the difference in hate, it seems it's the gnome who is looking down on his counterpart. You want to draw off me about something? I'm listening. Sofiel lowers his head with cold respect. 
thank you for finding the time to listen to me. In regards to personal matter, there was a woman in your squad who perished covering our retreat, and I don't even know her name, but she carried this shield. It once belonged to my brother. Do you happen to know how she came to have it? A personal matter? Of course. How silly of me to expect a relevant question. <laughs> Regular chuckles. After severing the expression on Saucier's face, he continues. Her name was Marenta, and she turned out to be a soldier, uh, to be a better soldier than I thought. Too bad she still wasn't good enough to survive. She transferred to us from the Order of the Nail, the Exterpators chapter, if memory serves me right. I wasn't interested in her reasons for changing chapters, and she never gave any. Such transfers are not forbidden, though they are not encouraged. In any case, she already had the shield when she came to us, and the only way to find out where she got it from is to ask at her former chapter. But the gods only know where they are now, and which demons they are slaughtering. Okay, so other Hell Knights. Thank you for your answer, Paralictor. With cold politeness, Saucer lowers his head and bows before the knight, then turns to you. It seems I have reached a dead end. This isn't the end. You can still find those knights. The Hell Knights don't value the lives of their warriors very highly, or I hope your search for your brother won't distract you from our mission. Okay, let's take the friendly one. Perhaps it's the goddess, if the goddess helps me. But where are they? Where do I even begin to look for them? Well, probably after we destroyed the demons. Only I had a chance to talk to her while she was still alive. So still looks away. I sound so selfish. She died, and all I talk about is what she could have done for me. But it's not only that. This shield was Trevor's treasure. He wouldn't have given it away for no reason. How did this woman get it? Did she deceive Trevor, kill him, or perhaps the opposite? She meant so much to him that he gave her the shield voluntarily. I keep mulling it over, trying to understand, trying to imagine what happened to my brother and what role Marenta played in this story. If she was still alive, maybe I'd have to exact my vengeance for my brother on her. Or maybe we'd sit next to each other and she'd tell me all about their adventures together. She might have become my mortal enemy or a sworn sister. But she's dead. She's just dead. None of that will happen now. Do you understand? The cleric's voice trembles. Okay. Perhaps we'll meet these extricators. I shall pray that we do. But I won't hold my breath. Let's talk about this later. I need time to get up my thoughts. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, not the inventory. I wanted the map. Is there someone we can buy it and sell stuff to? Um, there is Irabeth and Anivia. Let's talk to Anivia now. Uh, Anivia looks at you with apprehension. She barely reaches out for your shoulder, but then jerks her fingers away. That flash. This time, 
It was even brighter than it was over the Great Garrison. And you've changed again. Okay. Irabeth emerges from behind Anivia's back. Her body is covered in bandages. Her hair is shredded with grey and her voice is deep. It's as if she has aged a decade. You still came for me, Russ. I... The half-orc's voice breaks. I thought it was the end. Anivia takes her wife by the arm, as if fearing she might fall. Commander, I admit I've never believed in miracles, but now I know why the Queen put you in command of this army. Today you did the impossible again, right before your eye, our eyes. You pulled your people from a demon's mouth open the road to Dresden for us, and you saved my family again. Okay. So nice of me. We've lost many people, but our army is still in fighting form. Of course. Yes, many died, and even more will die yet. Today, tomorrow, every day until the end of the tunnel. But every day there's another chance to save someone. Okay, you are so creepy, Ember. <laughs> I hope these would-be crusaders will not easily forget the old thing this night has taught them. This night has left scars on our soldiers, on their bodies and in their hearts. But it also showed them that the power of demons is not boundless. We can destroy these demons, and we will. Fighting the demons of their own on their own territory is better than waiting for them to come to us like they did in the in Canabras. We are on the right path. It might not be the easiest time, but we'll be fine. Hey, why all the glum faces? We won! Come on! She raises her sword to the brightening sky. To victory! Hello. If we're finished here, I suggest we head back to the camp. The stench here is horrendous. Besides, I wouldn't mind catching up on some sleep. Yeah, she's the right guy. Is that right, Your Majesty? Are you tired? You don't like the nasty stench, huh? Should we put in a complaint that the demons didn't greet you with the proper etiquette? As if you know anything about proper etiquette. I will remember this night for the rest of my life. Darren's shoulders slump, but then he grins. I've always wanted to throw a bash in a church. I suppose this counts. <laughs> Queen Gelfry? Yeah, I think she's the traitor. I mean, she wasn't with the with the um with the prisoners there the beast possessed a terrible unholy power and still it fell at your feet i was right about you you are more than just a mighty force you are our hope for me for us for all of galarian probably she's the traitor there must be a traitor or was it just the priest that we found there? Hmm. I totally forgot about my clock again. Interesting. Okay. Stupid me. <sighs> Let's continue. Another thing, Commander. Your tiefling pal ran off the night of the attack. Nobody's seen him since. I'm not sure we'll be able to find him. He left without a trace. Yeah, of course. I mean, what kind of ranger are you, Anivia? Hmm. I'll get the survivors back to camp. Let them rest up a little. While at, le while at least, a little while at least, so 
was a scary night, but we've still got Drazen ahead of us. Okay. Can we end this dialogue? And she's gone. Whoever. Can we just... Oh, thank you. So, we could go out there, or... Ah, oh, there is no one around. Le no one left here. Only us seven. Hmm. Then let's see. Exit. Okay, let's move in this direction. But this is... Yeah, this is this place. How do we get there then? Interesting. Did I miss something? I mean, it doesn't look like there is a way in this direction, but probably. Don't think that we can be there somewhere. There's the exit. Oh, yeah. There's only. Okay, probably later on we will get here again. Let's move back. Um, back to the camp and sell all the stuff that we found here. Let's collect all. Did we collect all? I hope so. As the story unfolds, the draw closer to the end. They have the power to change everything. Some quests and locations may become unavailable. Proceed when you are ready. Except, okay. Ah, we can now go on to Dresden. I see. Okay, but I don't want to go to Dresden because I want to kill all the armies first. And also, there is some ruins, so. Yeah. Let's enter, let's sell stuff. Come on, move along. Okay, camp looks more or less the same again. Can we please take the pig with us 
Crusader with the arms. Hey. The soldiers are worried. Everybody can feel it. The decisive battle is coming. The big one. The one we started the crusade for. Some of the lads are getting real jittery. <clears throat> and I was wondering if there was anything I could do to help them. Should I ask the bards to come up with a rousing song? Or maybe throw a little shinding? I rather like the idea of a rousing song. We should hold a tournament. The troops can remind themselves, their peers, how strong they truly are. There is no better way to ally fears than to have a good night's sleep on a full stomach. Make sure everyone is well rested and fed before the attack. Well... Can we take all of it? Or at least the first and the third one? Yeah, let's take the rousing song. Why not? You do? Well then, I'll round up our bards after the sun goes down and allow them to compose a song so brave and fierce that Dresden will just fall into our hands. Okay. Let's do some business. Hello? Painful remorse. Level f DC four, uh, eighty four. Heavy shield. Whenever the wielder of this plus two spike heavy shield uses it for a shield bash, it behaves like a vicious weapon, giving an extra two d six points of damage to the opponent and one d six points of damage to the wielder. Really? <laughs> oh my god. Why should someone sell the box selling? So, let's see. What do we have here? I'm not sure about this. I, I really don't think that I will keep this. This is a gnome weapon. And it's less effective than the things that the, that Rachel has, so. Okay, this one, I don't know, Flayed of Fall Pope. Uh, whenever the wielder of this plus two neutral blade confirms a critical hit with it, it restores 1d6 hit points to the wielder. It can be wielded only by, a cha by chaotic evil, chaotic neutral, or neutral evil characters. Hmm, interesting. Um, Evil, chaotic, neutral, or neutral evil characters. Um, we have a chaotic evil character, Camellia, and we have a neutral evil, like him. We probably have a chaotic neutral character. Could be that um, that Mulchiv is chaotic. No one of them really would use this weapon because it's a flail. I mean, really? Mm -hmm. What's that? Yeah, uh, let's sell it as well. Don't think that anyone needs it. Uh, 
Ah, uh, my computer is so slow. Okay, this is stuff that we need to give to someone in our group. This as well. Okay, twenty-two thousand nine hundred and fifty-one. Okay. Um. Thanks a lot. Let's look at these things. If there is someone. What's that? It's a uh, Constitution plus two. What's this? Amulet of Agile Fists plus. The bearer will, has the weapon finesse feat. This amulet allows her to apply her dexterity modifier in place of her strength modifier to damage wounds of all unarmed and natural weapon attack. It also grants a plus two enhancement bonus on attack and damage rules with unarmed attacks and natural weapons. Hmm. I really don't think that we need that because the only one there are two guys fighting um with natural weapons could that could fight with natural weapons without big and I don't think we should um replace the strength modifier with the dexterity and the and Len. But Len is, is not fighting with his fists, although he's a monk. So let's sell this one. And what's that? Cloak of Resistance plus two. A resistance bonus on all saving throws. Mm -hmm. Let's see, you don't have. Oh, yes, you have Cloak of Resistance. You don't have a cloak of resistance. You also not you're not having a belt as well. Interesting. So come on, wheels of arms. Let's take this one and this one as well. Okay, that's this. Um, let's just go back and fetch the rest. Okay, Camellia, we'll take Camellia with us this time. You stay here. Camellia comes with us. And let's also take these two with us. I don't want to fight someone now, but... Um, I will do the mythic things after after this session. <sighs> I probably also want to run around with the armies right now. Because I don't know how to get there. Ah, probably from here. Pretty sure about that. Why didn't we see this before? Mm -hmm. There's the Crusader Army 1, and here is the Crusader Army 2, which has nothing interesting inside. There's a Demon Army level 5. Oh my god! This is much heavier 
then it looks from the outside demon army level seven. We have a level six army right now. So where are the all these armies? There is a demon army seven. Interesting. Where did this come from? Was it here already all the time? Hmm. Ah, there is some sign. Big Yay, we can buy new guys. Okay, let's buy new guys. Mm -hmm. Really? Why, why can't we recruit them? We have 3,800. Ah, because it's full. <laughs> this army is full. I see. I knew that. <laughs> Let's move up there. Mm -hmm. So, there is the army one. We probably should fight this level six army first. This is not. 15, 15 clients. We get a belt of giant strength plus four. Nice. And chill roars, hide and tusks. Hmm, interesting. Don't know why we need that, but um, probably we should run and go in this direction. To think. The other army. So let's see. You move like here. Travel. Mm -hmm. Let's enter. But we will stop now for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope we can see each other again soon. Next time we will look at um, this place. Until then, um, bye.